Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Like most nights when you're hiking, as soon as you're pretty much done eating, you, you lay down and of course it was still threatening a little bit of sprinkles, but anyway, um, still have some, quite a bit of clouds here this morning to contend with. I don't know if you can see them or not. I might be moving too fast, sorry about that. Hey, forgive the bed head too. Anyway, this is where, this is where we ended up last night. We're down in a valley between uh, two ridges. And uh, of course we climbed down last night at, uh, oh, for about, I don't know, five miles was a descent, more or less a descent, you know, a lot of little, little puds and stuff, but for the most part, a descent. And then today, most of the today, I think if I remember right, we're still gradually working down to Kenosha Pass. And then we'll start up climbing for the rest of the day all the way to wherever we stop. Now we've got water and, uh, oh, the water here was really nice. And then uh, uh, Mark took a walk with uh, Easton, his dog, and uh, we counted 15, 15 tents in the area here last night. But he went upstream a little ways, just take the dog for a walk, and there's a pasture up there with about 4,000 fresh cow patties in it. So we pretty much drank cow poop water last night, so it's a good thing we filtered. Um, anyway, so we've got about a mile, 1.1 to water. Gut hook says that it's seasonal and it's, yeah, last week it was flowing. So we'll take our chance. If not, we're going to go 7.3 to get to our next water source. So we'll definitely camel up here and, uh, make sure we've got, we're well hydrated. I think I drank almost a liter last night just in the tent and so on. So I still feel thirsty. So definitely it was a, um, a day where I probably should have drank more may have may have prevented me from from falling so I don't see any bruising but I can't really tell on the on the camera but I haven't ever hit my head before so that was that was a new experience so anyway we'll see you on down the trail here this morning bye all right we are have finished our first little climb for the morning kind of get ourselves warmed up and this is where the uh, bike path that detours the wilderness comes back. And I think this also might be the Rock Creek Trailhead, isn't it? This is, yeah. This is kind of pretty. Nice trailhead. You get here taking the, the same... Um, Same road that we came down on Lost Lost Park Road or something like that to get to the trailhead for segment five. It's very, very nicely done here, isn't it? It is. It really is. Almost get some vistas, but not quite this morning. Well, I did it again. This is beautiful, isn't it? I left my phone on movie and threw it in my pack. So now it's only eight o'clock in the morning. And I've only got half a battery left. Which means I'll just, at lunchtime, I'll have to drag my backup battery out. I don't want to do that, but it's part of kind of getting back in the game. Mark and I were just talking about that this morning. There's and you get this routine going finally, you know, it takes a couple of weeks to you know, everything, you lay everything out in the same place so you only got to touch it once to put it away. And... Watch this rock. Roger. <laughs> anyway. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful walk this morning. Just a little bit of an up from that campsite and then now oh, mostly down to the pass this morning there is no water at the uh, campsite at the campground we found out so it is a from this next water source that's seasonal it's a 10 mile 10 mile jaunt to the next water source so the thing is now no it was not at the campground 
on the gut hook I like a tail or fine it was it was out this next water source so appreciate that it's nice to have the warning when it would actually matter to execute then when you get there and find out that oops made a mistake we've all done that we've all done that if you long distance hiked enough if you've misplanned your food and you carry too much or you misplanned it and you didn't take enough you go hungry the last day i've been there not have enough water i've done that heck you guys have seen me nearly break down in tears before finding an unknown water source because i was in such bad shape so all right let me save some of this power for later okay this is our water source for the next 10 miles there are cows up here and a bunch of them were crapping on the water when we came down and uh i need normally three liters to go 10 miles i'm gonna do two i got a liter from the last campsite and i got a liter here put some clocks in it so we'll see how it goes uh these cows i don't think are happy with us having a dog <laughs> but uh I hope it would be okay. We're uh, most of all the other hikers are looking at this water and passing it up, passing it up since they're going to Kenosha Pass to hike, hitchhike into Jefferson for resupply. So that's not us. So we have to get water. Hopefully, uh, it won't kill us. Well, it won't. Just give us dead, good diarrhea, probably. But I'll make it. It's just beautiful out here today. Temperature is perfect. It's about eight o'clock. This hike is pretty in the fall. So far, I'm really liking this section five. Other than maybe the uh, water sources. But the cows wasn't very good, but it's sure been pretty. Not strenuous even though I'm breathing. We are at altitude. The air is soft and cool right now. This would be pretty, this would be a pretty hike in the fall. Very pretty in the fall. I can capture this vista for you. Let's top of this hill and try and do it again. Yeah, I'll try it again zoomed. Wow. Wow, is this something or what? This is just awesome. All right, no more than 100 yards, 100 yards up the trail. Kind of looking the other direction now. I think that's Collegiate Peaks down there, maybe. Taking a quick break, and there's an epic campsite here. Beautiful view of the vistas over there. I um, I understand that uh, the CT folks had gut hooks take off all the the stealth campsites because we've been coming across great ones everywhere i'm going to go ahead and and do a screenshot of this place so that you all can uh, find it if you want now granted you gotta, gotta bring your water up here definitely a dry camp that's a long way to water but man it's ideal it's kind of been reminding me a little bit of pennsylvania <laughs> other than it clears up so i'm starting uh, i think i think we're now starting the descent down towards Kenosha Pass. I think we've got about a little over two to go. Hoping the uh, 
info on the water's been updated down there and then we can actually get some water and I can dump out this cow feces infested <laughs> water. Of course, in all fairness, the Sawyer probably took everything out of it and they killed anything that might have remained. But still, it's just a thought, you know? Uh, pretty flowers. Haven't seen any columbine this trip. Unlike the last trip of my grandkids, I'll throw in a picture here what the columbine looks like, but these are these are all over the place. These are just beautiful. Have to look them up when I get back. I think I have known what they were from looking them up before. It's just the name escapes me. But they are in their glory right now. Like almost all these little bouquets everywhere. And then a different kind of bouquet because you can bring horses up here. And then we got rocks, so I'm gonna put the phone away. All right, everybody, just there's your pro, there's your uh, view of Jefferson for the resupply. The uh, pass is to the right, this direction, which is where we're headed. And how much further do we have to go, Mark? Uh, one nine to the segment. One nine, okay, all right. And every day you get to see a C-130 flying along and you're above it. Oh, I bet this is pretty in the fall. Of course, it's pretty now. These perfect trail videos on the AT and say that it really wasn't like that. <laughs> but I have to say the law of the Colorado Trail is like this, at least so far on segment five. It's very nice. Here's that flower that's fully open that I don't know what the name of it is. It's kind of pretty, kind of unique. Hey everybody, we've just passed uh, Kenosha Pass. You can probably hear the traffic down there. Um, most of everybody's heading that way, down that way to do a resupply at Jefferson. You know, there's a, there's a little country market down there and there's also a, a post office. So that's where they're headed, almost everybody. There's a few that are have already finished and are back on the trail heading heading up the trail. A couple that aren't aren't going to do it on that resupply. We're all kind of headed for the water source, which is there's a road 2.9 up that says it's a, a road crossing at a creek. There's rumors there's water there. Uh, other other than that, it's another um, another mile or so to Dead Man's Creek where we hope to to be able to get to water. And I think there's some camping there, so. Anyway, well, we'll update you as we go. Right now, I'm sitting on a log um, waiting for Mark. He went over to the uh, campground to see if he could scope out some uh, some water maybe over there. So anyway, more to come. See you later. Bye. Just finished the initial climb out of Kenosha Pass, and here's a nice bench. And if you wonder why it's here, that's why. It's a little overcast, spooky quiet. I like it. I like the solitude. Well, trail conditions like this I haven't seen yet. It comes close on that one sec section of segment to four, where you gotta climb that forest service road for, uh, seems like a half a mile or more. This. I don't think is that extensive. I wonder how the mountain bikers have been doing coming down here because they've been, they've been flying by me for the last half hour. Well, here's my trail right now. I have to be a little careful because it's a lot of toe catchers down here in these ruts. Huh. 
sorry for the wind seems to be the on the menu for today but that's okay because a it's cooler and b it helps keep the mosquitoes away I knew after Breckenridge there were problems with mosquitoes, but they've been plenty bad. And there's standing water. It's getting dark. It's raining over in the mountains across the valley. It's only a matter of time before it uh, affects us here. We've got about a half a mile to go to get down to a road crossing and a creek. But it's not on gut hook as a water source. And I don't think it's on the, the data book, but I'll, I'll double check it here when I stop and I'll let you know. Now that's not, that's not a dandelion, is it? What is that thing? That's kind of cool. And that means it's a weed, right? Since it looks cool. Wow, look at that view. I feel very blessed that I get to be out here and do this. Look at that stand of aspens across the way there. That has got to be incredible in the, in the fall. Man, I found a lot of places I want to go visit. I think pretty soon we get close to the White River Wilderness area. All right, see you later, bye. Starting to feel just a little vulnerable here. So I'm glad I'm descending. Oh, by the way, I can't remember if I recorded this or not, but we were successful at the campground in finding a well with some good well water in it. So we uh, were able to get hydrated, so we're not in quite such a critical situation as we were oh, an hour and a half ago. But Gut Hook says that Somebody made a comment at the road crossing that there was water down here, so we will see. Maybe there was good water down here at uh, Forest Service Road uh, 809, I think, yeah. And there's some camping on the other side of the creek. Mosquitoes here are pretty bad, though. We're looking at just going down the road and seeing there's some stealth camping away from the water. I'm at uh, 47 point, uh, I'm sorry, 76.1. I could be corrected though. I'm gonna put a snapshot here of my location just in case because you see a view. And here is a beautiful campsite right here. And we are literally just uh, just up this hill and down to the creek, Dead Man's Creek. So keep that in mind as an option. Dead Man's Creek. I feel like a dead man right now. <laughs> Supposed to meet uh, Mark here. But uh, I think he went on. Now this is how you do an arrow. You're gonna give a message to somebody. That's superb. Good job, Mark. Gonna head to Jefferson Creek. About another mile and a half-ish, maybe. Maybe a little more. That was the original plan for today, to get about 13 and a half in. <laughs> 